I've moved the surface plate off to the side and I'm going to do my punching and hammering on this little bench block rather than the wooden bench. Let's review what a prick punch is. This is a center punch. It's ground at approximately a 90 degree included angle. A prick punch, and you may not have heard the term, is ground at a much a more acute angle. And I'm going to use a homemade prick punch for the, that purpose. And what I'm going to do with that is that I'm going to drag this along the groove, and I can feel that I'm in the groove until I get into the cross groove, and I will feel that. It'll almost be a little clicking. I won't hear it. And then at that point, I will raise this vertically and strike it with my brass hammer. And I'll locate all three holes that way. Then, I'll take the other one, this blue one that I already have laid out, if it shows up. And I'm going to use the optical center punch on that. Now the optical center punch, this is made by Skidmore. There's a little magnet base, like this. And in the magnet base we place the uh, little eyepiece. And within the eyepiece there's little crosshairs, just like your scope on your gun, on your 30-30 rifle that you got in the closet. Then. Uh, I will slide it around the work and point the flashlight into the little uh, light gathering device here and when the crosshairs coincide with the layout lines I will lift this out without moving anything and put the little center punch in there and strike it with a brass hammer and then I'll move down and do the other two that also will need to be done off camera where I can work very slowly and uh, methodically. Uh, I'm wearing my Optivisor number three lens. If you are over 40, get one. Okay, now I'm going to do what I just told you I was going to do. Off camera though. I just had second thoughts here and I'm inserting this uh, little clip between uh, some of the other ones that I better show you exactly how to do this with both methods. So this is a, a different piece of material here but uh, for that prick punch method again drag the tip of the prick punch into the groove I'm not totally sure and there I felt it hit the cross one raise this up into the vertical position and tap it. That's the method uh, method number two. Now for this other one I've got a, a line there also. Let's use the optical center punch. We'll put the magnet on there, the little eyepiece there. That's my light source. I might be in your way now. I gotta take my optimizer off, could I? Right in the crosshairs, like my Marlin gun. Pull the magnifier out, put the center punch in, hit it with a brass hammer. And we hope we're right on. Okay. Now we'll go on to the next part. The next step is to drill some little pilot holes. And I'm at my Cameron Micro Drill Press, press Super Precision. And in it I have a number 68 bit, which is about equal to 132nd. And I'm going to deal with both of these pieces at the same time here. And I'm going to uh, uh, drill in there with that small bit just uh, about a sixteenth of an inch and then I'm going to go over to the other drill press but this will establish the hole. Do not use a drill press vise. You want the work to float around and you want this tiny bit to flex and find the center punch mark. I'm wearing my glasses again. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to break that little drill bit off. So I only went in about a sixteenth of an inch. I did that dry because the oil would uh, obscure my vision. Uh, this is really an important step. You probably can do that on one of your bigger drill presses, but I, I like this little one because it has great sensitivity. You, uh, I don't know if you are, people are familiar with the term sensitive drill press, but that was a, uh, referred to small drill presses as opposed to very large ones where you didn't have any feel at all of what you were drilling. So now I will go ahead and uh, micro drill the other five holes and then we'll step over to the other drill press. I'm at the Walker Turner drill press. I've got about an eighth inch bit in there and then uh, that's about a three sixteenths and that's the one that's one size under quarter and then I'm going to ream it quarter inch. All six holes. And these have been drilled on the micro drill press. Now I'm going to stop and put some oil on and I'll do all six of all six holes with all four cutting tools. Okay, now is the time of reckoning. We'll have our inspection. And I've taken uh, the three pieces and I've driven hardened and ground dowel pins into them. Quarter by three quarter. And by the way, dowel pins are two ten thousandths of an inch over, so I've introduced a slight error into the whole formula here, but we know they're not going to be perfect anyway, but we'd like them to be perfect. Uh, I've got a mark. This is the one done on the digital readout, the prick punch method and the optical method, and we'll use the Mittatoyu uh, calipers. Turn it on, and I always wipe them. I, I wipe them often, and then zero it out. It already is zeroed, but uh, I didn't show you when I used that black granite surface plate. Make sure you wipe that and wipe your angle plate uh, repeatedly and often. Okay, this is the digital readout. Now, these are quarter inch in diameter, and the holes were spaced at uh, 750, if you recall. And I did that for the reason that uh, when we take the 750 and we add the radius and the radius, uh, which would equal a diameter, we end up with one inch uh, across the uh, what I'm measuring here. All right, this is the one I thought would be perfect, and it's not. We're about uh, one and a half or two thousandths off on that one. That kind of surprises me a little bit. This one is off by about the same. Uh, approximately two thousandths off. I would have thought they would have been right on. Uh, I think I'll buy a dog and maybe the dog can do it a little more accurately. I don't know why that is off. Uh, I would think in the uh, uh, in the drilling or the, the drills were, uh, were drilling uh, weren't, weren't perfectly sharp or something because the actual location of the hole should have been perfect unless there's something wrong with my Accurite. That's a little disappointing. Alright, this is the one done by the prick punch method that my brother Jan of Cody, Wyoming has showed, showed me many years ago. And we'll put the caliper across that. And we're within uh, five thousandths on that. Well, that's about equal to two hairs. Fairly close. This one is within a thousandth. That's pretty good. Now for the optical center punch. Let's see what we got. That one's within uh, four thousandths. Gotta make sure I Four and a half thousandths or four thousandths, and on this one we are within one thousandth. So that's a real accurate method, that optical center punch. Another way of doing that optically would be to use uh, a little magnifier like this, and this uh, sticks right onto the 
uh, work, but it would be in your way. But that's that's a nice way to examine your work and to see if the cross lines are, or your center punch is truly on the cross lines. If it's not, you're going to be off. Another method, well, it's not a method, another tool, is this little uh, hammer. Sterrett makes one. This isn't a Sterrett, but it's got a magnifier in it, and it's, it's for doing your uh, putting your center punch down on the cross hairs or the, your layout lines and uh, making sure the prick punch is on it and then tapping it. I actually have never used this. Uh, a neighbor gave me this. Layout is extremely important. I hope you learned a few lessons from this. I'm a little disappointed on my digital. I think I'm going to go back and do that uh, on my own off camera and just see if I can get it perfect because I, I really thought that would be perfect. But here's two other methods for you. I welcome your comments. Please, no questions, guys. I just can't answer them. This is Tubal Kane signing out, saying so long for now.